guys, Rhea Boy here and I am back with a new video and for today's video, we are gonna do another haul and it's gonna be a different one because today I'll be sharing some of my favorite streetwear brands and pieces and most of these are local brands and I also have some international brands that I'll be sharing to you today and I know a lot of you also have been asking for the links or kung saan ba kami bumibili ng mga streetwear shirts namin or pieces, ganyan. So, kaya inisip ko na gumawa nitong vlog na to para nakumpile na lahat ng brands. And most of these brands pala we've worked with several times na like they've been sending us clothes like every month or every release. So, ayan, full support din kami for this brand, especially for the local ones. Anyway, let us start with the first piece. Hindi ko na masyadong patagalin pa yung intro natin kasi medyo marami to and hopefully sana hindi masyadong mahaba yung vlog natin today. Okay, so anyway, the first item that I'll be sharing to you would be this one. So mukha siyang skirt but this is actually parang a shirt extender. Hindi ko alam kung tama yung term na ginagamit ko pero ganun ko siya iniisip eh. Parang gagamitin mo siya underneath your loose shirt or oversized shirt but if you want it to look longer eto, this will help you. So mukhang may oversized white tee kayo sa loob but ito lang talaga yung sikreto dun guys. Very cool yung idea niya. So it's also a nice to have Especially if you are into yung mga oversized fit like me. I always go for medium size. Ayan, yung ibang tao na hugulat sila kasi they usually think na size mo lang ako. But since I want the oversized look, then I always go for medium or large. Now moving on to the second brand. It's gonna be the Beverly Moon. Ayan, actually kay Jeff nila to pinadala and sobrang na in love ako sa pieces nila. Sobrang ganda. Uh, mukha siyang recycled pieces na ginawang bago. Like, bagong item. And I like the idea and how they made this bucket hat. So, reversible siya. You can wear it like this or the plain one earlier. Ito. So, ganyan siya. Diba? Look, it's so cute. Very unique. Ayan. And aside from this hat, they also sent Jeff a tote bag. It's this one. And sobrang cool, di ba? Look, may shirt talaga dito. And ang sobrang amazing talaga. Amazed na amazed ako sa brand na to on how they made this or recycled these pieces and turned it into a new fashionable piece. Since hindi na siya gagamitin ni Jeff, of course, kinuha ko na siya. So, it's now mine. <laughs> Actually, yun din yung maganda sa amin ni Jeff. We get to share the clothes or the pieces that we have. So, yung mga ibang items na nandito sa haul na to, some are his shirts or his items na binigay na niya sa akin or inarbor ko na sa kanya. Now, moving on to the next brand naman. Medyo madami akong shirts na isi-share sa inyo. So, inuuna ko muna yung mga accessories. And now, we are here sa shorts. So, ito yung favorite brand naman namin when it comes to the jersey shorts. So, this is the Mutual Respect brand. And this is actually their new collection. Meron silang pinadala sa akin na shorts before. And ito yun. Sinuot ko na siya. And pinost ko na yun sa Instagram ko kung naaalala nyo. So, this was one of their shorts. And then, ito naman yung kanilang bagong collection. I think this is the third time na they sent over a short sa amin ni Jeff. Um, small lang kasi yung pinaka-smallest size nila. So, nag-share lang kami ni Jeff dito. So far, okay naman yung fit sa akin. Medyo maluwag lang siya. Pero, carry naman. Especially if I wear it with a oversized thing. Hindi naman ganun ka-obvious na maluwag yung short sa akin. So, Yun, I have no problem with that. And yeah, let's check out the newest collection. Ooh. So yeah, guys, 
This is their parang trademark na logo dito sa shorts. They always have it here. And sobrang ganda ng material ng shorts nila. I also like the color for this one. Si Jeff naman, he got the beige one and the green one. So ako yung mga medyo colorful naman. And even if we both get different colors naman, we still get to share them. So ayun, again, no problem for us. And then, I also got the pink one. Yan. Tada! Ganda rin itong pink. Gusto ko yung pagka pink niya. And gusto ko rin yung pagka orange nito. Now, before I share the shirts or the tops with you, I'll just share ko muna sa inyo yung current obsession ko. And it's gonna be the tracker cups. Medyo obsessed talaga ako sa tracker cups lately. Kasi feeling ko sobrang... Ano yun, yun, lakas makaswag talaga. <laughs> Mga ganun na vibe. So, I have three here. Actually, yung isa kay Jeff, hiniram ko lang siya. So, yung first tracker cup na I have here would be... Ta -da -da, the Drew Cup. Ayan. So, eto nabili ni Jeff sa Real Steel. And, ayan siya. Medyo weird nga lang yung fit niya dito kasi masyado siyang flat. And hindi ko pa siya pinufold. Baka ayaw ni Jeff. So, ito kasi yung size na to. Sakto siya sa ulo ni Jeff. <laughs> medyo malaki yung ulo ni Jeff. But, na-adjust naman siya if gusto mo na medyo tight siya. Ganyan. But, ayan siya. Yun lang yung only problem ko with the Drew Cup is yung ito. Kulang lang siya ng form. Masyado siyang stiff. Pero, well... Guys, it's broke up and medyo mahirap tong bilhin. Laging sold out. Lalo na sa website nila. I'm not sure then if available pa to sa real still. Kasi alam ko da, time na binili ni Jeff itong cup na to. Like, paubos na siya. So, yun. Check nyo na lang kung available pa siya or what. But, ayan siya. Ganyan yung itsura niya sa loob. You have the Drew 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 logo there. And then, andito din. So, this is a one-size cup. Wala siyang sizing kasi adjustable naman siya dito. Actually, very secured din talaga yung lock nito. Yan. So, sobrang tight niya. Moving on to the local brands naman. Um, this next cup here, tracker cup, is from Moderna Official. So, they sent this one over to me and Jeff. Meron din si Jeff. So, take isa kami. And, ganito yung fit niya. Medyo mas may form siya or mas naka-curve siya compared dun sa Drew na cup. Although, ito, may konting pagka-structured din talaga siya. Kasi yung mesh dito sa likod, medyo matigas siya um, compared dito sa next na cup na isi-share ko. Pero, maganda naman yung quality niya. I like it. Maganda rin yung logo dito. Ayan. Sobrang ganda rin ng fit sa ulo ko. Actually, yun yung struggle ko with cups. It's hard for me to look for the perfect cup. Kasi medyo maliit yung face ko. So, if yung cup is malaki, um, even if I adjust it like this one, mukha siyang weird or awkward sa akin. So, yun nga lang ito. If malaki yung dito niya. Hindi ko alam kung anong tawag niyo dito sa cup na to. I mean, sa part ng cup na to. So, if wide ito, then medyo hindi siya nakaka-flutter sa face ko. Ito kasi sobrang sakto yung width nitong, I don't know what you call it, but this one. And also the reason why I love tracker cups lately is may ventilation siya sa ulo. Ito, kaya gusto ko siya kasi sobrang init din talaga lately and sobrang kapal ng hair ko. If I wear those dad cups na sobrang, alam niyo yun, covered na covered, Parang ang bilis uminit ng ulo ko, literal. So, with this one, at least pag sinot ko siya, yan, may ventilation. So, nakakahinga yung ulo ko. Now, the next cup naman na I'm gonna share with you would be this one from Saint and Sinner. I'm sure you guys seen me wear this one a lot sa Instagram ko. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. Sobrang ganda kasi ng color niya. I like yung combination ng brown and this kind of blue. Ang ganda talaga. I love the combination. And lakas maka-retro or vintage. Ayan. So, ba Ang ganda niya. And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na mas malambot yung pagka-mesh nito compared dito sa modern official. But I don't wanna compare naman talaga. Pero, ano yun? Para lang may reference tayo. So, as you can see, ito yung mas structured, mas stiff. Ito yung semi-stiff, um, structured as well. 
And then this one, mas parang chill. Yan siya. Mas malambot yung mesh sa likod. There. So, unahin ko muna tong sweater na to kasi it's the same brand with this cap, Saint and Sinner. They also sent me a sweater. Ayan. Or pullover. Ayan siya. Nasuot ko na to and hindi ko pa actually siya na post sa Instagram ko. Pero sobrang comfy rin talaga nitong sweater na to. Gusto ko yung naka-embroidered talaga dito. Hindi lang siya parang printed. Ayan. Pero ang only thing lang masuggest ko sa inyo is if ayaw nyo yung medyo makati sa loob. Kasi ito kasi may feel nyo yung um, embroidery dito sa loob. So, siguro, I would suggest you to wear tube para hindi lang masyadong ma-irritate yung skin sa loob. So, yun yung ginagawa ko when I wear this pullover. Yun. Anyway, with Charlotte Folk naman pala, i-share ko rin sila sa inyo kasi I super love this brand as well. They have a lot of nice selections as well. Yung mga sweater nila, pullovers nila. Sobrang ganda. And there's this one specific pullover na I super love from them. Ito yung blue na pullover na lagi ko rin sinusuot. Especially if may mga Lazada posting ako kasi kailangan lagi naka-blue. So, yun na yung only blue sweater ko. So, for that sweater naman, I was wearing a large size for that kasi gusto ko yung sobrang oversized na oversized talaga. And whenever I think they post my photo wearing that, I always get a lot of DMs asking me kung ano yung size na kinuha ko, height reference and all. I got the size large for that and then yung height ko is 5. One. So, ito yung photo na yun. Ito yung favorite sweater ko rin from Charlotte Folk. So, they are also another local brand na to watch out for because they have a lot of cool pieces, shirts, sweaters, pullovers, as in totes as well. Ayan, meron din silang recent collaboration with Angelique. Ayan, so ito yung mga bags na recently na nilaunch nila. So, ayan, for me, it's super cool. I love it. And there. So, we are done with Saint and Sinner and then Charlotte Folk. <laughs> this next brand naman, actually, kakapadala lang nila nito sa akin. And I also want to show my support for this brand. This is the Steph Ambition. So, ito yung packaging niya. Ayan. So, they sent me a sticker and then we have here a letter. Babasahin ko to later. Yeah, you guys know how much I love to read notes or letters from you. So, yeah, I appreciate that. So, anyway, going back to Steph Ambitions, they sent over a tote bag. And alam niyo rin na mahilig ako sa tote bag kasi ginagamit ko siya when we go to the grocery or again if panglagay ng mga damit namin na i-shoot, yung ginagamit ko. So, there. We have this bag. Very minimal ng style ni Steph Ambitions. I love it. And ganda na pagka-print. It's so clean. It's nice. Aside from that, they also sent me two shirts. Sa kanila naman, I got the size medium. Yan. Kasi standard fit sila. So if standard fit, it's either mag-large ako or medium. Pero for this one, I went for medium muna. Kasi if oversized fit to, mas mahaba yung sleeve. Pero pag standard, medyo maikli siya pag medium. So, ayan. Pero okay pa rin naman yung ano niya. Mahaba siya na standard fit. Ayan. This one has print on the back as well. We have a black one. Ito yung pinaka-logo niya. And then we have another print sa back. This next brand naman is from It's So Good. Actually, sobrang love ko talaga yung branding ni It's So Good. Um, we just met very recently online, of course. Hindi ba kami nag-meet personally? Muntik na, kaso hindi ako nakasama kay Jeff, so I'm so sad. Anyway, ayan, sobrang hands down din talaga ako kay It's So Good kasi yung content niya sa Instagram niya, sobrang matutuwa kayo. Especially if you're a sneakerhead, sobrang on point ng no, mga content niya talaga. And ito yung mga favorite ko from his content. Sobrang nakakatuwa. You guys should follow him and check him out. This is actually nice. I like the color. Ayan, you guys know how much I love mga cream, brown tones. Ayan. Mahilig din ako sa black. So, for shirts, I would always go for black. And then, ayan, also mga cream ones like this. The fabric is a bit thick. 
And actually, maganda siya. Maganda rin yung fabric. Thick, but soft sa skin. Hindi siya rough. Kasi may mga ibang shirts na ganun eh. Yung makapal siya, sobrang stiff, and then rough. And sometimes, makatirin siya sa balat. This one, hindi. Like, sobrang soft niya. Hawakan. For the next brand, it's gonna be Thy Origins. Tagal na rin nila sa market. Like, I've known them, I think, since last year. Pero, feeling ko mas matagal na sila. Like, last year ko lang talaga sila na-discover. And they've sent a couple of shirts na before. And this time, this is their new collection. Ganda rin ang quality. Actually, maganda rin ang quality ng mga shirts nila talaga. Yung shirt na pinadala nila sa akin last year, up until now, ginagamit ko pa rin siya. And sobrang soft. And ang ganda pa rin niya. Hindi siya nagbe-bacon. Ang ganda lang talaga ng quality ng shirt nila. And yung print as well. Hindi siya nag-fade. So, yun din yung maganda sa Thai Origins. Here's another shirt from Dye Origins. Ito yung parang classic na shirt nila. So, they only have the logo here. Ayan. Retro-ish din. This next brand naman, well, top lang muna yung mapapakita ko sa inyo today kasi yung pants na lagi kong sinusuot from them ay nasa laundry. <laughs> well, lagi ko nga talaga siya sinusuot kaya nasa laundry na naman siya ngayon. And it's gonna be Fashion Kinetics. Ayan. So, ito yung one of the first items na pinadala na nila sa akin before. Ang ganda ng print sa likod. Actually, ang ganda ng quality talaga ng mga items nila. Sobrang love na love ko tong brand na to. And, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me wear their pants a lot of times. As in, over and over again, yung cream na pants, na cargo pants, and even yung black na cargo pants from them. Lagi kong sinusuot, I swear. So anyway, going back to this top, another parang statement piece sa aking closet. Like, you can wear this na naka-open siya, hindi naka-tube ka lang sa loob para medyo more skin kayo. Or you can wear a shirt naman sa loob and then, yeah, naka-open pa rin siya. Or, as is, ganito lang. And then, pair it with uh, cargo pants. Their cargo pants. As in, sobrang perfect combo talaga siya. If you are a fan of mga graphic tees, I would recommend you checking out the brand Cash Waves. So, these are some of the shirts that they sent over. Actually, meron din silang shirt na pinadala sa akin before, yung Jenny na graphic tee. And I've worn that several times as well kasi mahilig din talaga ako sa mga graphic tees like this one. And it's black, you guys. <laughs> Wala na, parang feeling ko talaga, if I wear mga graphic tees like this, parang feeling ko ang cool ko talaga. Parang, alam niyo yun, kahit hindi naman. There's nothing wrong naman if you feel cool with what you're wearing, di ba? So that is the confidence that I get whenever I wear graphic tees. Meron talaga siyang vibe na binibigay sa akin. So, yun. And the reason why I also recommend Cash Waves, kasi kakaiba din yung mga collage or yung artwork nila. Sobrang galing din talaga ng artist ni Life, I must say. This next shirt naman is another Michael Jordan shirt. So this is from the brand Still Learning. Maganda rin tong shirt na to. Actually, I only have few gray shirts. And ito na yun, isa sa mga gray shirts ko. And sobrang ganda kasi lang talaga nitong combination or itong print na to sa gray shirt na to. Hindi ko ma-imagine itong print na to sa black shirt. Parang feeling ko mas cool siyang tingnan sa gray shirt talaga. That's why I went for this. I think they have this in white and black as well. Pero ayun nga, para sa akin, mas gusto ko lang talaga yung gray. Para maiba naman, di ba? Kasi puro black shirts na lang ako. So, andito din yung logo niya. And for me, yung logo, parang very Travis din talaga siya. So, I think ganun yung inspiration behind this brand. Actually, gusto ko rin tong suotin together with my Travis Frag. Kasi feeling ko ang ganda nito. With a denim pants and then yung um, Travis Frag na shoes. For the last local brand na i-share ko sa inyo would be no other than Don't Blame the Kids! Ayan. Sobrang sikat na sikat na brand na to and sobrang love din namin ni Jeff tong brand na to. So, ito yung mga pinili ko na shirts from them. Of course, the Ultraman collection kasi si Jeff yung nag-model.
actually shirt to ni Jeff and hinikiram ko lang sa kanya kasi medyo malaki to sa akin. He got the size XL. O diba? Parang ayaw talaga mag-share ni Jeff sa akin. Pwede pa naman sana ako mag-large pero XL talaga pinuha niya para hindi ko mahiram sa kanya, diba? But anyway, ayan. Sobrang ganda ng print na to. Ito yung favorite ko na shirt from the Ultraman collection. Gusto ko yung tie-dye vibe nitong shirt and then yung print. Wala nga lang siyang ano, print sa likod but as you can see, sobrang ganda ng pagka-tie-dye nitong shirt. And guys, DBTK shirts are so good. Ang ganda ng quality. Wala akong masabi. As in, wala. Wala talaga akong masabi kasi sobrang ganda. They also gave me a shirt from that collection. So, ito yung pinili ko. And of course, black shirt again for me. And I also go for size small for the DBTK shirts. Kasi napansin ko, pag nag-medium ako sa kanila, parang masyado nang malaki sa akin. This shirt naman, maganda yung print nito sa likod, di ba? Yung iconic na Ultraman with the kalaban niya. Ano ba to? Crab. <laughs> yung crab na kalaban niya. Yan. For the last graphic tape that I'll be sharing to you guys today, it's gonna be this shirt from Wet Dream Studio and they sent me a two-pack shirt. Ayan, the legend two-pack. Obviously, you guys, sobrang love na love ko talaga yung mga graphic tees and yung mga graphics na pinipili ko talaga, yung mga iconic people, yung mga legends talaga. So, ayan, I have this one. I have Dua Lipa. I have Jenny. <laughs> and then I also have Michael Jordan and Travis. So, ayan. This one, it's very soft. Yung fabric niya and even yung texture niya is also soft. Yeah, and I like it. Now, for the last item from this haul, it's gonna be <laughs> my favorite varsity jacket. This one is from Don Care. This brand I discovered sa Instagram and they sent this one over to me. Sobrang lala. They have all the coolest varsity jackets and actually and dami ko pang gusto bilhin sa kanila they have a red version of this they also have a denim version as in ang dami talaga alam niyo yun parang ang sarap lang talaga ng kolektahin lahat pero medyo pricey lang siya but the quality ang ganda this one is parang PU leather so you have this huge embroidered print or text here and then dito lahat to embroidered guys yeah, and sobrang ganda yung quality talaga niya. Sobrang perfect. And the nice thing about this pa is I get to share this with Jeff as well. So, si Jeff, gamit na gamit na talaga niya to. And I think I got this in size large. Now, if you're looking for mga varsity jackets na cute din, na maganda yung quality, then I would recommend this brand. You can check them out sa Instagram or they also have a website where you can shop. So, they do ship here sa Philippines and um, door to door shipping naman siya. So, na receive ko siya sa dito sa bahay mismo. And I didn't have to go to customs na and I mean, go through all the hassle. So, yun din yung maganda with this brand. That's it for today's haul. Sana nag enjoy kayo and sana supportahan natin to mga brands na to, especially again the local ones. Let's support local as much as possible. So, there you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account. It's at IamMayabwe. And give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if hindi pa kayo subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!